Hello everybody, it's me, Glass Half Dead, talking to you about Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team. And yes, that's right, it's been Warhammer Fest. And I cannot get rid of this little bit of green screen tearing my bad. Phobos Marines, Traitor Guardsmen, Kill Team Moloch. Moroc? Moroc? It's Moroc, I got that wrong. I was thinking Moloch. Let's discuss... Okay, so we just had the Warhammer Fest thing where I did a live stream. You can check that out if you want. It's almost exactly an hour and it's just me live reacting. It was fine. It's fun to talk to the community at times. Okay, this is the new box. We're going to be talking about the Marines, the Traitor Guard, and the Terrain. Okay, let's do it. But first, if you're a subscriber to my channel, I'd like to give you a big double hello. Wow, so wholesome. If you want that wholesome pleasantry in the next video, like, subscribe, leave a comment right now, and that could be all yours. First up, we have the Traitor Guard, and delightfully, GW's website uh, messing up the top right-hand corner there. Guys, I'm actually going to talk about the Phobos first, because I am more interested in the Phobos and what we can say about them. What can we say about the Phobos? Here's the thing, okay? Okay, mechanically... I'm excited for Phobos. Thematically, I'm excited for Phobos, right? Uh, we, I don't think we know their specific... It's just, it's just Phobos Strike Team. Okay, so it seems to be... Let's, let's talk about the physical plastic. We're going to be getting an Infiltrator Team. An Infiltrator is a 10-man box that can be built as either Infiltrators or Incursors. In 40k, they can be 5 mans. So you could have a... So from a single box, you can build a 5-man of incursors and a five man of infiltrators this was actually back in the day when i did a one box kill team this was the one box that you could build two teams from so now you can't because you need six models instead of five but let's be honest you could just proxy one it's not a big deal and thematically for kill team very nice they've also said that plastic wise we're going to be getting an upgrade sprue Essentially, from the looks of it, we are getting, out of 10 models, because 10 come in the box, we've seen that down here in this little picture here, 10 come in the box, 6 of them are going to have a new sculpt. This guy here, this is not a new sculpt. This is a standard infiltrator, I believe. This guy next to him, the, the people say are dabbing, <laughs> is an interesting one. Because it's a new head and a new arm, but that gun underslung, looking at a, a thing, that's not... So this, is, this guy is a new arm and head. Is that new, GW? Uh, that's exactly what I'm about to talk about when it comes to the aesthetic. Okay, aesthetically, I, I love it thematically. However, just imagine a game of 40k, and you're running two teams of infiltrators. You put down your infiltrators, okay? That's one team right next to them. You put down your special elite Phobos strike team of custom kill team models that are your guys. You can't tell them apart because they're identical. That's my main issue with this team. They don't look like I want them to. I guess. Let's look at the next two. Okay, now we have, I'm going to guess comms. That's because he's got an all specs there. I do hope they've updated the all specs rule as well because currently all specs just provides uh, no cover to someone near to you. Like, who cares about no cover? Hopefully it's going to remove obscurity uh, or something like that or be able to flip an order. And then we've got a medic. This seems pretty standard. This is what most teams get these days. Cool. Comms medic. Then we get a normal guy and a demo. The reason I say demo is he's got a little flicky switch. So actually, you know what? When I first saw the trailer, I thought that this guy uh, here, the lower guy, I thought that was the same build as that already comes in the box. But that's that's a new guy. That is seven models that have a new sculpt to them. Again, I believe this is just a different thigh pouch, which looks like a bomb or something, uh, demo charges, and a hand. So, to call it new is a bit of a stretch, but it is. 
we then go over to here so you know that's a demo guy presumably if i had to guess i would say that oh because um maybe they get the haywire mine they don't show the haywire mine and technically the haywire mine is an incursor thing not an infiltrator thing but i'm into it now the guy down here going for the pistol you might think well that guy's super cool he's clearly going to be a pistolier uh but that's actually just a standard sculpt that comes in the infiltrator thing so nothing crazy there this guy now he is built as an incursor so it looks like the reason we have a phobos team and not an infiltrator team is because we have one incursor what does an incursor do i believe if we're going to have anyone apart from the comms that will be able to so you know i assume that the comms is going to be a pretty standard uh give somebody ne near to you plus one apl we're then probably also get the servo score being able to do something funky with line of sight but i would also suspect that this guy can do something funky with line of sight certainly uh in compendium all of their oculus bolt carbines just get no cover by standard so i assume his will get that as well but maybe it will interact with some new war gear like uh, the thing on his back which will allow him to perhaps provide no cover to a target for every model i don't know just you know something we then get two new scops now uh, on the stream somebody said oh a smoke grenade that guy already exists uh, but weirdly again this is they're changing tiny things so this guy is clearly about to throw a grenade right uh but the and he's looking the other way but the normal smoke grenade model he's rolling the grenade in front of him instead of throwing it and he's looking towards where he's throwing the grenade that's it that's the only difference and then we have another guy behind him now this is our second guy with no helmet the first guy had like a thing on his backpack which normally denotes that he's going to be the leader i don't know what this guy's going to be if i had to guess i would say some sort of melee veteran because obviously he's holding the dagger right the knife whatever you want to call it good you know we, you every team in a spec team with only six models you need someone that can do some melee if you don't you're gonna really struggle with that uh so yeah he would be a prime candidate for a reaver head swap, perhaps. Uh, and that's it. We're, we're back to the start. And that's it. That's the reaver team. And that's what... Sorry, the Phobos team. And that's my issue. If I were to put that down on a table, right next to a bog standard infiltrated team, that's a real shame. Now, I understand that, you know, thematically, yes, all special forces are going to look the same. I get that. With only, you know, very minor differences. I just would have really liked it to stand out a bit. Okay, I looked, I couldn't find it. Um, one of them is also a sniper. The only thing I was going to say is that perhaps if you want to get a little bit funky, you could swap the sniper in there because honestly, nothing about him looked like a sniper uh, and just swap him out for one of the eliminators, which is obviously an actual sniper. We then go over to the Militarum Traitorous Blooded Kill Team. 12 models in total. Looks like we're going to get, you know, I would argue relatively standard in, for the normal guys. We've got a sniper up there. We've got a few melee guys. We've got a plas We've got a gunner. We've got uh, a dude with a boarding shield. Boarding shield, always cool. Yes, please. I'll take him every time. I assume the gunner, the plasma gun, is going to be able to be swapped for any other gun. The sniper, I assume we're only going to have access to a single sniper. Or maybe that's just two gunner slots. And we can go any two guns. Then we've also got a melee specialist. But of course, the stars. Commissar, or corrupted commissar, whatever he's called. And corrupted ogryn. Very cool. Uh, so these two models were first available in the Blackstone Fortress set. Also, I think they said that this is going to be a full multi-part kit. Which implies that this will at some point become its own set as well. Also, the way they were talking was as if this team here is not actually going to get a uh, Chaos Space Marine data, se data sheet. So, seems like a total missed opportunity for me. Uh, because these could obviously just be like an elite pick for a cultist army or whatever. But anyway, and so the real question becomes, what are the Commissar and the Ogryn going to be able to do in the game? No idea. So, uh, how do you make an Ogryn strong obviously you make it he's hitting for seven maybe he's hitting for seven on a normal i mean this is 
the biggest model we've had released so far. Outside of Compendium, where you could argue that it's the same size as a uh, Tyranid Warrior or a Custode, sure. We haven't had anything crit higher than a 7 so far, you know, base. Maybe this will be the one. Um, it certainly looks like an absolute beast. Also, I don't think it actually matters if it crits higher than a 7. Like, it, that's not actually the end of the world. Critting on an 8 isn't a huge deal, really. Uh, the real question becomes, how do we keep him alive? Is he, you know, he's got this, like, thing surrounding him. Is he going to have some sort of psychic ability? Uh, is he going to have some sort of aura, you know, a dark, Im imposing aura to him? Also, just how he's dressed, I'm guessing this entire team is going to be a 5-up save, including him. He could be a 4-up. I suspect the Commissar will be a 4-up. But, for him, generally, I think he's going to be a 5-up save. Maximum wounds we have, 18 wounds. How do we make it a... F yeah. I'm just saying, a 5-up save, 18 wounds, he's going to get focused down really quickly. Like, one melt gun, he's gone. Especially with a 5-up save. Is he going to have an additional save, for example, a feel no pain? But then you have to think, if he's 18 wounds, 5-up save, and then he has a 5-up feel no pain on top of that, 18 wounds, he's essentially 24 wounds at that point, and that's pretty crazy. You know, we don't know. We don't know. Whatever he's going to be, he's going to be a good mix of survivable and killy. However, the question is, is this a 12-man team? Or is this a 12-slot team? And we have to decide whether or not to take the Ogryn, which will be two slots. We haven't seen anything take more than two slots yet. Or is he such a beast, he's three slots. Who knows? Three slotty. Uh, then we have the Commissar. Um, again, no idea what he could do. Commissars kill their own people. He's got a power fist. <laughs> somebody said, like, is his ability going to be you can kill somebody and then it gives him health, action points, whatever. Who knows? Who knows? I assume because he's Commissar, because he's a Commissar and therefore, you know, this is a Trator Militarum Traitoris as opposed to dark cultists right i suspect that we're going to have something a little bit more veteran guardsman like where he provides an order to the team as opposed to psychic powers which brings us finally to the terrain of kill team morok now okay so let's look at the positives first things first this is a brand new kit that just released for 40k like a month ago it seems like we just get it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I assume, I, I've got to be honest, I haven't paid too much attention to the 40k crowd about how that new kit plays. But I assume this is a good kit for 40k as well as now being a legal kit in Kill Team. However, it has been laid out on this board a little bit peculiarly, wouldn't you say? Uh, certainly there's a large open space. Now, I get that they probably did that, like, for a thematic reason, so and also to show off the models, right? You don't want... you want some nice open spaces for the models to be seen. But essentially, you get two big buildings, and you get one heavy, and then you get four walls. Is that going to be enough terrain? Narratively, yes, clearly. I mean, that looks like a fun board to play on. You've got one side that's like... In, the, in their own little base, and then, like, the, the outpost of the base has been attacked. Like, cool, yeah, sounds great. But, how is, are you going to be able to make this a good competitive board? And that's what I'm obviously mainly thinking about, because if I'm buying this, then am I going to try and push this into regular play in any events I run, etc.? You've got to think about it. So you've got two big buildings. Okay, that means you have two vantage points. Excellent. You then have a larger line of sight heavy that can go between them, which is a positive because it means you won't just have some weird um, vantage points battle going on with nothing between them. And then that in itself is also a vantage point, although looking at that terrain there, that little bit on the tower, I can see that being an absolute nightmare uh, to figure out line of sight on. Not as bad as the Orc from Octarius Orc pump oil rig pump thing. Um, but still, I imagine there's going to be a lot of 
finicky rules there. But then there's only, what, four walls? I don't know, it, it, it will end up being a relatively oddly light board, I think. Although, sorry, everything in there is heavy, I suspect. Like, those walls are tall enough that they will be counted as heavy. There's no light terrain in it, similar therefore to Chowna. Perhaps the center, uh, I don't even know what it is. Not the radar thing, the center spire will be a punishing vantage point, whereas the other two are just regular vantage points. Don't know. Don't know. It's a tough one, that's for sure. I will definitely be interested to see what they end up doing, because despite my own dislike of the Knackman terrain, and me feeling like it was a pretty uh, sparse board um, that probably wouldn't play too well, they did do that pretty interesting thing where they made the, uh, like the little vents essentially have this uh, two-inch aura of a smoke grenade which is cool um, and, and actually even though I didn't like the board the terrain works like they made it work so I assume they're gonna make this work as well I don't know how but I assume they will one thing I will say is that as we could tell from that main building there this is a kit that is supposed to work thematically with sector frontieris from the old kill team kill zones and the STC pattern riser ruins which they no longer sell unfortunately but I think that this kit if it had the STC riser ruin pack which had some lovely uh, light cover for like barricades and also a few full-size walls then this would be an amazing terrain kit as it is it doesn't so they're going to have to come up with some custom rules to make it really work okay and that's the end of it um, I could talk about the other skirmish things I wasn't super into the squats for Necromunda, the Middle Earth stuff just looked like bears, and the War Cry, although I'm excited for the expansion of a potential continuation, new teams, etc, and, and new, new themes of it, um, the actual models they showed were super like, what is this? Like, they look like farmers. I'm not into it. Uh, so that was that was a bit of a letdown there. But Kill Team, actually, I am pretty excited for the new box. I do want the Phobos Marines to be cool, even if I have to do a little bit of conversion work myself to make them stand out a bit more. Traitor Guard, I think, are going to really speak to some people thematically. Um, they don't really jump out to me. I like the Ogryn. I like the Commissar. Um, the rest the normal dudes, eh. I'll see how it goes. Suddenly for me, I'm leaning towards the Phobos in, in, this, in this one. And obviously we have to wait to see how the terrain plays. Anyway guys, this has been Glass Half Dead. I hope you've had a good day. Continue to have a good day. And if you made it to the end of the video, I'd like to give you a big triple hello. Wow. What a wholesome pleasantry just for the end of, view, end of video, homeboys. Alright. Have a good day. Bye.